back to our coverage of the Irish Poker Open 2018. I'm Laura Cornelius. We are about to embark on a shuffleboard competition. Natalia and I have struck up a team and I'm worried. Yeah, me too, but we'll wing it, we'll wing it, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. How often do you play this? Um, I played for the first time two nights ago. I had one go. <laughs> and how did it go? It went really well, actually. Apparently I, I was a natural, but I had had a few drinks, so. I think drinking definitely helps, and I'm sober as a judge, so I'm a bit concerned. We head to the bar and get some wine. Let's go. <laughs> with Ilva who is in fact a shuffleboard champion so I need some tips give me some it's a very easy game you just have to play against people that are worse than you <laughs> kind of like in poker <laughs> well what if I'm the worst one well don't play for any bets okay so no betting on this one well, she's not giving much away, is she? I definitely well, don't think I'm going to win. It's very easy. The the board is concave, so it goes into the middle. So if you start on the outsides, you can uh, get a good curve. So i got to go for the curve. And uh, when you throw the, the stone, just feel the board. How do you get into this? Is this big in Norway? Yes, uh, it's kind of popular there. It's, very, it's more popular in the US. It's from the US. But uh, it's a good thing to do when you drink and like to play. And do you have any trophies? I'm a, I won the European Championship and the Norwegian Championship. Wow! <laughs> First stone is just to feel how it works. So when you throw it now, just remember how hard you throw it. So when you see how where it, where it stops, then you know if you have to throw harder or slower, okay? So just feel yourself. Well, it was not meant to be with the shuffleboard competition for Natalia and I, unfortunately. Turns out being hungover and playing this doesn't work, so I'm going to head back to the poker. <laughs>